All right, let's take a look at a resource called medium.com. What medium is is basically a place where people post blog blogs. But what it's also useful for is gathering information and different types of articles and resources to use. So we'll go through some steps on how to do that. So when you go to medium.com, if you don't have an account, you just go to sign in the upper right hand corner. What you can do is basically link your Twitter or Facebook or sign up with an email address. So I sign in through my Twitter account. So when you connect with Twitter, what it does is you give it permission basically through Twitter. And then it allows your account to go through. So as we take a look, so th this is what my homepage looks like. It doesn't look like much. When you're looking at Medium, as I said before, it's set up to write blogs on. So when you click on write a story, it opens up with a title and then you start typing. So it's very, very basic. And then you can publish it if you want to post. So I know some of my colleagues, they write their blog posts using Medium post them on medium I don't I do a few so I started a different blog for the educational leaders .com. I post a few of those on medium to run medium you go over to the icon so once you put your picture in or if you don't have your picture in yet you go over this is where you really make everything happen here so it's this is the area about a new story or stories that you've written. So this is the information if you start posting your blog on here. What I want to focus on is the area about bookmarks, publication, and customize your interests. When you go to customize your interests, it'll take you to an area and, and Medium is very big on tags. So if you look, I've followed some of these tags, creativity, education, ideas, innovation inspiration and leadership so we'll click on one of these and you'll see what I'm talking about say we get into leadership and click on it brings up articles that refer to latest stories top stories a little bit like Twitter some of the top writers and you'll see over here related tags so if I clicked on these tags like entrepreneurship you notice up here if I would like to I can start following it and then it'll be listed again under my customize my interests. Once it updates, then entrepreneurship would be listed in there. It's one of the ones that I follow. So that's what I like about Medium. All you need to do is go and click on one of the tags that you follow, and then it brings up articles and posts related to those type of those areas. So I think this would be really good. You can share some of these posts with your staff members if you're looking at certain things in education or innovation. You can also share them with others using social media. Another part about this I like is you go to top writers, and those are some of the most popular writers who post on these tags using these, these tags that they have. And then you can go and follow those individuals and then you'll be notified every time they post something. So I, I really like Medium a lot. It's something I've started using recently. As I said, I don't post so much to it as I go to it and read different articles. Again, something else I use on my phone, the app is fantastic. It's The app is much like this on the screen, but much condensed and smaller. And it, it's very easy to use, and it has a lot of has the it, it's similar to Flipboard, and has a lot of the articles there, and you can click on them. So I'll tell you who I like to read about a lot. Let's see if I can find them here. So I read a lot of the works of Larry Kim. He's the CEO of Mobile Monkey. He has a lot of great posts that he maybe takes from people and reposts them. A lot of things about multitasking or, or different ways to brand and market, inspiring people. So even little things like this, you could 
you could view this post, look at some of the TED Talks that are in there, and then maybe use them uh, with your staff or maybe in the beginning of the, of the school year. And they're just, the videos are posted right inside there. Again, you see in Medium, easy way to share with social media as well. Click on it, tweet it out, goes to my Twitter account to share with others. So Medium is a, is a great tool to use. So I can share share a link from YouTube that shows a little bit more in depth how to use it, but those are the basics of what I use it for. I pick up information and really if you're not worrying about posts and blogs and you really don't need to worry about this area up here, you just focus on bookmarks and publications and in customizing your interests. So same bookmarks is like anything else. With Medium you can bookmark items and keep them back for when you want to go and, and read them. So if you favorite something once you do that, you click the hard, you can go back and, and bookmark and look in the bookmarks and find it. So Medium is a great tool. Like I said, even if you're not planning on posting blogs on it, I think it's a tool you can use. Once you, once you find some certain tags that you want to follow, you use those tags. And just like the other resources we've looked at, there's a database that pulls articles for you so you don't have to go searching for them and you can just scroll through them and look for, for what you need. 